disabled attribute. Disabled attribute is restriction attribute that we use to disable HTML element. For example, if we use disable HTML attribute on our input element, this means that this input element cannot be used. Basically, value for that element cannot be changed and we cannot read value for that element. For all elements in our HTML form that have disable HTML attribute, when we submit that form, all that values will not be sent to the server on server-side data processing. First input element will be name input element, so type for this one will be text. Let's create label. Let's add name. Okay, and let's use name HTML attribute. Like a name, let's set name field. Okay, let's create some new lines after this input field. And then let's create submit form button. So type for this one will be submit. Let's set a value. This is a label for our button. Let's set submit. Okay, so let's save our changes for now. If we refresh our web page, we can see now we have our input text field where you can enter anything, and we have our submit button that you can click. And as you can see, we are trying to reach our data processing PHP script, that is our dummy script that we set for our action HTML attribute, and we are sending our name field with value that we have entered. So basically name field is a field where you can enter our name and value is master months. So basically we are trying to send our form element with value to our data processing script. Okay, but what is gonna happen if we set disable HTML attribute for our name input field? Let's save this change. When we refresh our web page, we can see that our naming field is disabled. So basically, we cannot enter anything inside of it. But we can use value HTML attribute to set initial value for this input field. So our initial value will be masterminds. So now if we refresh our page, we can see we have initial value that also cannot be changed. If we submit our HTML form, take a look on our URL, we are trying to reach our data processing script that is action attribute, and we are sending actually nothing this time. Our masterminds value that we have entered in our name field will not be sent to our data processing script. Reason for this is that every field that is disabled will not be sent to action script on data processing. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate or PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting 